Patrick, thank you for joining us. I'm sure you're looking forward to the new season. Yeah, obviously it's uh, good to be back um, to get started. We've seen the, the release dates, obviously, of the season. So, you know, we've got a, an eight to 10 week block um, to prepare for, obviously, the start of the season, which, you know, I'm sure that we're all looking forward to. This is the first time we've chatted to you since your appointment. How much of an honour is it for you to, t to be taking over the reins at the club? Yeah, uh, it's a massive honour. Obviously, I'm, I'm very humble and privileged to be given the, the opportunity um, you know, from, from the, the group. Um, so, look, again, being a player here or ex-player at heart, going through the transition to, to City, and now, obviously, I have did my uh, sort of apprenticeship through the under-20s tw under um, and obviously the, the females and now to the head coach, it's, it's great. It's been a fantastic journey um, and long may it continue. And you mentioned that journey working with the youth players in the MPL under 20s, the W League side and, and taking them to championships and obviously your apprenticeship with the, with the A League side. How important has that variety of coaching been um, to your journey? Yeah, it's been, uh, I think, really important because I think you need to learn a lot. Um, obviously, Working with the W League was a, a great, a great situation to be in. Um, you work with fantastic women um, and female athletes, the best of the world. Then you go to the twenties where it's all about developing. Um, so all there's all these different ways of coaching and you know, learning about a player. Every player is different, um, and you need to put that all together. Um, you know, on the weekend and during the year. You know, to, to you to perform. So it, look, it's been a great learning and I'm, I'm, again, I'm very lucky to have had uh, that learning. You've been here since 2013. You've seen the progression and the, and the journey of the club over that time. How important is that for you to understand what it means to everyone and, and the fans to, to achieve success here? Yeah, um, obviously, been, obviously I've been here a while. I'm part of the furniture here. Um, you know, it's a, it's great that, that you can represent all the staff here, all the players that have been along with you in that journey through playing, obviously myself and you now I'm the coaching. Um, so you know, we want to make everyone happy um, at this club uh, with success, like we, we all want success. But, you know, I think the people that have been here a long, long time, you know, um, they deserve it and we're going to do everything we can you now to get it. And you talked about your pathway. It's also involved getting your pro licence and heading to Manchester and New York for experiences there. Um, how important has the club and, of course, the CFG group uh, been in your journey as well? Yeah, look, hugely important. Um, you know, obviously, you know, they, they, they've supported, firstly, my, my way of coaching and given me that pathway. You know, they've sent me to New York um, to work alongside Patrick. They've sent me to Manchester to have a look at how, how things are done there. Um, obviously they've sent me for my licenses so look they've invested a lot in myself and you know all I do is want to repay them back. And obviously last season you formed a special bond with Eric how do you think he shaped you as a coach and a mentor? Yeah I think he's just shaped me in everything especially as a person um, you know Eric was fantastic he, he the knowledge of the game was second to none so I've learned you know obviously tactically um, I've, I've learned certain things that you need to look at in, in games and how to improve individuals and, and a collective. Um, I've learned about myself um, because, you know, spending so much time with a, a man that's incredible, incredibly knowledgeable, um, I was very lucky. Um, and look, he was a great mentor. Um, he's a mentor, but most of all to me, he's like my best friend. Um, we still speak you know, a couple of times a day nearly every day. So it, it, it's crazy that, you know, someone that is half my age, who's from another part of the world, that speaks another language, gets along with someone like myself. Um, yeah, and he's, in, he's an incredible special man. And looking towards the team now, it established a distinct style last season. How would you describe it, both attacking and defensively? And um, how are you looking to progress it this season? Yeah, as we know, we have an identity. Um, and that is, you know, playing the city style of football that we, we've, you know, started last year. Um, obviously, we want to score a lot of goals and we want to play attacking football. Um, but also, you know, defensively, we want to be hard to beat and not concede many. Um, it's a complex, it's a complex style. So it's very difficult to understand. But, you know, through the learning of last year and now continuing on to this year, 
the players have done really well. And building team culture has, has been an important step over the past 12 months as well, both on and off the field. How has that helped you build uh, the, the together culture that we're looking to have here at the club? Yeah, obviously I, I had a relationship with a lot of the players before I was a head coach. Obviously uh, Warren and obviously Eric. So I know the players um, quite well. So obviously building a, a culture is very big um, with, within the club. But I think the important thing is, is that you mix it all together. So we build the culture, we have an identity and a togetherness um, that not just sticks around for a couple of years, that sticks around for life because we want to create something that, you know, is here for a long, long time. So it's, it's putting the blocks, the building blocks into place um, to keep continuing to be better. Um, so when people do watch Melbourne City or do walk into the building, um, there's, a, there's a special wow feeling um, and, a, and an honour feeling to be at a club like ours. And you're talking about those building blocks. A lot of them were sort of set this season, but there's definitely more to build on. What do you think you'll bring to the role personally that, that might be different to what you've seen or what we've seen in the past? Yeah, look, everyone says, you know, is there a personal touch? I think I'm just, I'm just going to be me. Um, you know, there's no point reinventing the wheel. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to add my bit and to improve the way we do things. Um, and I'll be... Um, I'll be me, I'm not going to be anyone else. And looking at this season and, and the way the squad is shaping up and, and the way we've recruited as well, um, I'm sure you're happy where things are at. The key message is, you know, obviously, you know, we want a, a, a good squad like everyone else, but we want a good squad and, you know, we've recruited players that we think can improve the squad. That, that's the really most important bit. Um, we don't want to bring anyone and everyone, but there's a certain type of player um, that fits into this unique style that we have and unique club. So we, we bring the players in that we think can help and improve the squad and that's what we've done. And there's been a lot of stability from last season as well. That was really important to continue what was built from last season as well. Yeah, again, like you said, you know, there's no big wholesale changes. You know, Again, we'll add because you know, it will improve our squad. Um, but we're lucky enough to be in a position where you know, we have the bulk of the squad still here. We want to put those building blocks in place to improve from what we've done last season. And Patrick, finally, what is your message to the City family ahead of the upcoming season? Yeah, it's just, look, I know there's difficult times at the moment, but just know that, you know, we train every day as hard as we can. So we, come, we go out on a Saturday to, to help um, and, and impress you guys and win for you guys. You know, we love you guys being with us um, and we love the, what we do. Um, to put a smile on your face. So we'll do everything we can to always make you feel happy um, because we know um, how you've supported us during the year. So we'll do everything that we can for you guys. Well, Patrick, thank you and all the best for the season. Thank you.